organizing for total quality management. We all know that the management control system in a TQM environment operates through control points, which are the measures of results. In this lesson, we will describe the basic structure for TQM implementation, explain the roles of TQM coordinator, describe TQM implementation barriers. After going through this presentation, you should be able to describe the basic structure of TQM implementation, explain the role of TQM coordinator, understand the role of steering committee, describe team and motivation in TQM, discuss the barriers to TQM implementation. Total quality management is a management approach which turns conventional wisdom on its head. It is a body of profound knowledge concerning how organizations may be managed effectively. Even though TQM comes across to people as common sense, its methods do not come naturally to managers. The corporate office focuses on the financials and TQM promotion is left to the units. In single division companies, the structure is functional and therefore the promotion of TQM is carried out as in a division. In the multi-divisional companies, it is best to keep the corporate TQM coordinator's office quite small, one or two professionals, and build strengths in divisions. This means a steering committee in each division supported by a divisional TQM coordinator who should be at its full time except in very small divisions. The divisional coordinators must be members of the senior management team of the divisions. At the corporate level, the role of TQM coordinators are designing of conceptual frameworks, education and training programs, including material that would be required, evolving systems, policy management, recognition campaigns, planning, that is, help in setting goals, formulating strategies, structures, campaigns and programs, educating and training at all levels on awareness, skills and refreshers, provide facilities to individual as well as teams in problem solving and planning, review progress, diagnosing status and helping top management to do diagnosis, build conviction in senior management and act on the secretariat for events, problem solving projects, steering committee meetings, etc. At the divisional level, the TQM coordinator's role changes only in emphasis. The first of the task of a TQM coordinator is to enroll the CEO and the senior management to the TQM way. The accountability for the promotion of TQM vests with the steering committee, the TQM office plays an enabling role but the executive team must directly take charge. The role of the committee is to provide goals and direction, create a structure and provide resources, review progress, recognize people, apply course corrections and decide on applications for awards. There are four steps that a steering committee ought to be mindful. First is clarifying reasons for starting TQM. Next is being okay with people as they are. A company launches TQM as a way of getting to where they want to go from where they are. Next is creating campaign. It is necessary to promote TQM through specific actions rather than through abstractions. Sometimes TQM is thought of merely in terms of making a TQM culture and so the promotion of TQM is thought of in abstract terms. Next is integrating all improvement plans. Managers would complain justifiably that TQM is extra work, that it is not integrated with the responsibilities. TQM is a powerful approach in making improvements. The TQM approach focuses on improvements required based on the goals of the organization, the complaints and the needs of stakeholders and the non-conformities of failures currently experienced. The team concept 
continues to evolve and is recognized by many industry leading organizations as the key ingredient to increased productivity and reduce staff turnover. Team building means to develop the team and the individuals in it to be stronger and work more closely as a unit. In most organizations there are groups. Groups can be divided as strategic focus groups, project groups and natural work groups. Strategic focus groups and standing committees represent the most sensitive and critical situation for facilitation. Project groups like strategic focus groups have a short life. Natural work groups report to the same on a permanent basis. Team building aims in combining and integrating the talents, skill and energy of individual employees to solve problems and accomplish goals and objectives that may be difficult or impossible to achieve by management or other individual efforts alone. A team must have members with different backgrounds, skills and abilities so that the team can pool these things to be effective. Building an effective team brings about tremendous improvements in employee performance, satisfaction and retention. Effective teams seize on conflicts to reinforce their ongoing win-win ethic. The implementation of total quality management is similar to that of other decentralized control methods. Walmart is known for its no-hassles return policy for any product with or without a receipt. Mail Order House LL Bean will replace a pair of hunting boots purchased 10 years earlier with new boots. Implementation of TQM in an organization requires strategic leadership, financial resources, employee involvement and empowerment, streamlining of operational activities and commitment at the top level management. Two to ten years are needed to reap the benefits of a successful TQM program. Companies who have implemented TQM include Ford Motor Company, Philips Semiconductor, SGL Carbon, Motorola, and Toyota Motor Company. There are two types of barriers. First, organizational barriers and second is behavioral barriers. Organizational barriers are the most visible barriers of TQM implementation and are spread all over organizations such as lack of commitment by top management, lack of continuous training and education, improper planning, inadequate use of empowerment and teamwork, inability to change organizational culture, incompatible organization structure and isolated individuals and departments, and apparent lack of business experience and knowledge, etc. Second is behavioral barriers. Some people do not want the implementation of TQM in the organization the negative attitude and dislike for it. This type of barriers arises due to attitudes, lack of training needed, management styles and level of success. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. DMAIC is a factor that is involved in total quality management. Right or wrong? Wrong. Total quality management is a management approach which turns conventional wisdom on its head. Right or wrong? Right. Teams are made up of individuals with diverse skills and talents. Right or wrong? Right. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied so far. Organizations must aim to build database of value for all stages of the product life cycle beginning with product development. Team is a group of individuals who are experienced and understand the work, who interact and coordinate with their work to accomplish goals. Work group is a collection of interacting employees who share certain norms and are striving towards member need satisfaction through the attainment of group goals. A structure needs to be created for introduction and promotion of TQM in an organization. This structure includes steering committees, TQM coordinators and champions, 
distinct roles. Top management's involvement is essential. The steering committee must clarify the reasons why the company is starting TQM. The TQM coordinator should enroll the top management in adopting TQM and establish a clear conceptual framework for TQM within the company. TQM teams aim to solve chronic problems. They follow a disciplined problem-solving methodology.